guys, I'm Tarsh with Unique Me 33 Healing and Empowerment. I want to be doing today's messages for the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, all my water signs for November 2019. So if you guys have been watching my other videos, you know that my phone's been messing up. So I don't know how this is going to look or what have you. I haven't been able to check any of the other videos yet. But anyway, I'm going to just roll right through it. Not sure how much time I have, but um, today I'm going to be doing some extra messages with the Moonology cards. These are NYX cards, and I really like them, and I'm thinking about stealing this deck because I really am jealous of them. I like them a lot. But anyway, um, as I was shuffling the cards and getting out all the energy from the last reading that I just did, um, a card came out, Expect Powerful Change. This is a New Moon Eclipse card i will read what that means in just a minute and then i'm going to pull a couple extra of those out as well um, before i do the rest of the reading but anyway so yesterday um i was going to do all of the element readings and it just didn't work out that way because of my phone being uh stupid or what have you so um but anyway the messages that came out yesterday were um healers wake up rise to the top steep climb but you'll make it don't stop now keep pushing forward at all cost trust in the process keep faith you will be tested and then the i am affirmations that i was told is i am unstoppable i will not stop i am the change i wish to see in other in the world i will let my light shine okay so that's different than what i normally say but anyway i am the change i wish to see in the world i will let my light shine okay and i just feel like this month is like about really bring in your gifts out and i think that you know um this is really for all signs but in particular i feel like the water signs just really have so much um so much to bring out right now and it's just time i just feel like it's time so um let's see what this expect powerful change is this card here i don't know what they are too too so i'm gonna have to read it out of the book but um we'll see what it says new moon eclipse why am I not seeing it Okay, this is really weird. Here we go. 94. I totally thought I was missing something. If you want affirmation that you can achieve your dream... Okay, let me start with Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. If you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work. But be prepared. It could be quiet, quite a ride and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than you were at the moment whatever is happening now is happening for a reason you'll appreciate a reason that you'll appreciate later on a new portal is opening up that opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it you're being you're being put back on the right path there is nothing to fear attuned to the moon Never mind the past, life evolves every single day. Additional meanings. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You're being shunted or shunt shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. This is an important turning point in your life. New moon eclipses are among the most exciting astrological events. They herald a complete change of pace. It's as though you're heading in one direction, probably being guided by your ego, and then here comes the divine, the goddess or spirit, to turn you instead to face the direction you actually need to go. Regardless of whether or not there is a new moon eclipse happening when you pull this card, it's a powerful affirmation of positive turnarounds. So a lot of good things turning around. One, 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 as I look up at, at this. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I was told to pull a couple confirmation cards for this and that was pretty fast am i supposed to take this card no okay it was negotiation that came out for all the other ones though 
work confirmation cards would you like to give me for the new moon eclipse thank you influence some of some of you may have positive influences coming in from different people or different places or different scenarios so just pay attention to the different influences that are coming in this may be influences that are going to push you forward in your journey this could be people i'm, I'm seeing uh specifically like people that are higher up than you or that are more advanced than you or more um i don't know more gifted than you or maybe more enhanced in their gifts or something being someone that is going to teach and guide you and help lead you into a, a more successful place of being and this is with your entrepreneurship this is with your gifts this is with just success in, in all kinds of different ways. It could be anything, but it, specifically, I just feel like it's really time to bring our gifts out to the world. Use those to uh, bring us financial gain as well as helping other people. And like, try not to think about it being for financial gain, but about helping the world to evolve their gifts and things like that. But no, like, know that that's coming. I feel like that's that's just really coming. Yes. Some people may even be getting money from unexpected places, uh, people that are influencing you to help you build your business or maybe even um, travel to the places that you have to go to teach whatever it is that you're teaching. For some of you, that's what that's about. What other message do you have? This one, thank you. Caution is warranted. So some of these influences I'm feeling may not be, or some people that you feel like are influences may not be exactly who is being brought into your life to influence you. However, to be to test you to see exactly where your motives are, um, or to challenge you to see exactly what you're gonna you're gonna put up with something of that sort. But I feel like a lot of chaos and a lot of um, confusion may be coming up and this may have something to do with contract 654 i'm told to tell you guys and the energy starting to pick up in my head it's been doing that with every reading lately um and this is a seven six together so the number seven and six i don't know why i was supposed to tell you that but okay might want to look that up but um let me go ahead and pull another one of these cards i feel like I, i'm being led to give me another one of these um, moonology cards, please. For the over I must just take that one overall turn for the reading. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. This is a beautiful card. Have faith in your dreams. Okay. Don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. You're no, nowhere near the end of the story. I'm hearing just the opposite. You're at the beginning of this new adventure, new story, new cycle, what have you, new part of your testimony. Um, so just, just know that you're at the starting point. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay then it's not the end. However, the waxing crescent moon card is a reminder that you must still keep working towards whatever it is that you want. If you can't take practical steps, spending time, if you can, if you can't take practical steps, spending time meditating on the questions you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about your best next step. So this is like talking about like those um, pieces of the Akashic records that will help you to, to see what your next step is. It'll help you to bring your gifts out and even help, help you in mastering your gifts. So some of you may have, have things that, that are needed to still be mastered. And so you get into your meditative state and you ask or set an intention that you want to find out what it is that you're supposed to be doing to help master your gifts or whatever it is that you're seeking 909 so look that up and then make sure that you're putting in the action necessary to fulfill that to to fulfill the dreams that you already have faith in you've been seeing the visions of them the things that are to come and then expect miraculous solutions to appear for you you're going to have so much guidance you already do guidance that's given you every step along the way just pay attention to it and not act out in 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 the ego and instead or on self will instead just follow what the divine is having you yeah that caution is like checking your ego checking your motives of why you're doing the things that you're doing is it really what you want to do is it really what's for your divine life purpose two three four look that up 
make sure to check into your influences, those people that are helping you to succeed in your business or in your entrepreneurship and uh, advancing in your gifts. Make sure, would they have done that? Is that something that they would do? And just like use that discernment of spirit as to whether or not you should act in a certain way or do a certain thing or what have you. Stay positive, I'm hearing. Stay positive, stay positive. I'm going to get a couple confirmation cards for the have faith in your dreams card. Am I supposed to take that one? Submission. So it's like submit, submitting or being accepting of your your uh, visions that you're seeing, those dreams that, that you keep having that are replaying, being accepting of the changes that come with it is what I'm getting. So this is like submitting to... Um, you know god's will or finally uh giving in or letting go to god's will there's doors that are being opened it's time to walk through those doors with confidence with courage with with peace of mind knowing that whatever is going to happen is exactly what's supposed to happen it's divinely timed divinely uh purposed so just make sure that you're moving through those doors as they open and many doors are going to open very fast i'm hearing a lot of change very rapidly um a lot of uh, a lot of um, like uh, situations or circumstances that are just going to keep happening just like this. As soon as one thing's learned within seconds or minutes or days, the next thing's coming, and it's just going to be like this. Just need to be ready to go at a fast pace. Two seven two and eleven twenty two. I was told to tell you guys so. And this is a number 12 card, which rounds down to a three. The Ascended Masters are helping you. So listen to the guidance that's telling you which doors are open and which ones you need, need to close as well. Okay. What other affirmations can you, or confirmations can you give me for the Have Faith in Your Dreams card, the Waxing Crescent Moon, please? What other messages can you give me for this card? Thank you. Rebellion. I feel like this has, has to do with like taking a look at your own place or your, your part in everything. And I, I feel like it's like, what part are you playing in your journey? Are you exactly where you feel like you're supposed to be 12, 12? Um, this is a lot about reflecting and I, I don't, I'm not feeling anything about rebellion with this card. So I don't know why. Okay, I heard we knew that you would read into what we're trying to show you. Okay. You may have people that are trying to hold you back, though, or trying to pierce your eyes, so to speak, or give you some kind of pain or heartache or criticism because of you putting your gifts out into the world and them not being accepting of it. There's going to be a lot of it, I hear. Okay, a lot of it. But push forward. Push through the bullshit anyway is what I'm told. Yes, and this is a number 11 card. So remember, you're going to be mirroring things and people that are not so pleasant. So these people that are criticizing you, this is things that you used to do or still do that you need to work through and then forgive yourself for being that way. And then when people are criticizing you after you've forgiven yourself for being that way, they won't bother you anymore. And you'll be able to pray for that person to be, become awakened like you are. Okay, so I was told to put those up. Let's see what other messages that, uh, sorry guys, that would like to come out today. Universal Energies, what messages do you have for online Cancer Scorpio Pisces for the month of November 2019, please? What messages do you have for my water signs? Thank you for November 2000. Whoa, okay. You must to take this one too. Okay. I was told to stop. Be willing to forgive. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of pain in exchange, in exchange for peacefulness. So this is what I was just a confirmation of what I was just telling you. You know, you need to to be able to for, forgive others for the criticisms that they're, they're giving you, for gossiping, for talking about you, for judging you is what I'm getting, and then forgive that in yourself because that's something that needs to be taken out of your programming and your DNA so that you can move forward and not be that person as well. So the mirroring that you're going to see in people are things that you need to heal on yourself. Whether or not you still act out on those things, they're still going to come up eventually if you don't heal them. So make sure that. You do whatever need, you need to do to heal them. Ask for guidance what you have to do to, to forgive that, that peace in yourself that you're seeing in other people that you don't like. Okay. Shield yourself and base chakra came out together. So uh, protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. I tell you guys this all the time. It's about putting that hedge of protection, sending out that energy in whatever color you intuitively feel out of your heart space in all directions outside of your physical body into your auric field and 
intending and asking that the angels will protect you um, from any uh, fear-based energies, energies of lack or doubt or, um, you know, whatever it may be. All those lower lower uh, vibrating energies, any kind of attachments that may try to attach to or auric field because of lower vibrating thoughts or actions that you have. So ju it's just a cycle. Make sure that you're putting that hedge of protection around you. Intend that it's there all day and ask that the guide, your angels and guides will guide you your your thoughts. Lead, guide, lead, and instruct your thoughts and your actions so that you don't act out in a way that you shouldn't. 1515, I was told to tell you guys. Base chakra, it's choosing only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome. It's time to manifest and reap the rewards for a job well done is what I'm hearing. You guys are starting to see that your, your gifts that you're putting out in the world are starting to reap rewards in financial uh, matters, is starting to feel more financially secure or feel like you're finally getting what you deserve for the energy and time and service that you're putting out. Um, for others of you, this is just about manifesting through using positive words, positive affirmations. And as uh, some of you, this is a warning that you need to do those things to make sure that you're you always using positive thoughts if you're thinking negatively that you are um trying to counteract those negative thoughts with uh, positive actions or positive thoughts so that you can start manifesting those positive things back to you shielding yourself will help you to to stay away from those uh negative or lower vibrating thoughts and actions as well like i said so make sure that you're doing that 16 16 when you do act out in those ways that you're not supposed to out act out and make sure that you're uh you know making apologies or making amends to people um as quickly as possible as well as taking a look at your part in it and forgiving yourself for the actions that, or the things that you've done um use caution with the words that you're using uh when it comes to family members or people that are criticizing you or judging you for your gifts and because they're not understanding it's just that they're not understanding they're not vibrating at a frequency that is able to comprehend or perceive what you are trying to show them or what you're trying to do or what you are doing so don't don't um, allow insecurities to hold you back but have caution and discernment of spirit or discernment of your words of, that you share with people so that you don't receive as much criticism you know when it's time to speak and you know when it's time to move because you're being divinely guided by the angels that you're asking you know guidance from as well as 1717 look that up but the influences that you're seeking through other teachers and people that are able to help you advance in your gifts and and all of that good stuff some of you are the teacher and just being that teacher helps you to advance your gifts or to enhance or you know move forward or up it with your ascension journey singing and dancing is really important right now it's going to bring up your vibration playing different instruments listening to different uh, people playing different instruments nick's been playing the did you do or whatever it's been um, really doing some good things to my energy so maybe some of you need to to listen to some things like that or I'm hearing flutes for whatever reason. People are needing to connect with flutes and drums. Okay. Let's see. Animals, what messages do you have, please, for my cancer? Goose, take time to rest and recuperate then, rather than continue in your striving. Okay, some of you have been doing a lot for other people and not really been taking too much care of yourself. It's time to slow down, take care of yourself, let other people take over the work. Some of you are taking care of parents that have dementia or a parent that has dementia, and it's time for you to just take some time off a couple days, even if it's just a couple hours, and let other family members or hospice or whoever, uh, nurses, aides, take care of them and not feel bad about it. Four, four, four. But this is really about taking care of ourselves. When we feel like we've pushed ourselves too much, make sure that you're just stopping and taking time to, to rest. Am I supposed to take that card? <laughs> okay, octopus. Practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. It's time to put on a smile. A lot of you that are using your gifts and, and putting out a lot of service and stuff, it's time to change the way that your appearance looks. So maybe four, five, six, changing the things that you wear to where you're more presentable to people so that you're more, not because you need to change the way that you look so that people will want to see you, but maybe so that you will attract people to you just at certain times or what have you so that you are able to be more of service, if that makes sense. But um, it's not about changing who you are to please people, but changing your appearance in a little way or just adding a smile to it or adding some earrings or something or doing your hair differently just so that you're attracting to 
people that would normally not be attracted to your energy, if that makes sense. To pull in more people, help more people. Um, as well as this is about learning to put that camouflage on you, that hedge of protection around you, or like I like to call the cloak of invisibility. Put it around you as you go to the store so that any kind of lower vibrating energy will just bounce right off and your people don't even notice that you're there so you don't pick up on the energy anyway. Yes, I hear you. Okay. What other messages do you have, please, for November 2019 for all of my Cancer Scorpio Pisces for my water signs? Thank you, Chameleon. Stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to, rec to direct the course of events. So some of you are not going with the flow and are needing to go with the flow. You're trying to put your, your human uh, perspective into it and feeling like your opinion is going to matter. But instead of going with what's, what's divinely guided, so make sure that you're um, really going with what's guided, what you're guided to do, whether it be going to a certain place or doing a certain thing or letting go of, of a person, place or thing or what have you, or it doesn't matter, whatever it may be for you, but adapting to the situation rather than trying to force it to happen and going with the flow is what's best right now. It's a must is what I just heard. Okay. A must. What other messages do you have, please, for November? I was told to take this one, but turn it upside down. Ladybug. This is a time of good fortune and abundance. Be willing to receive all good things in your life. Abundance of peace, happiness, joy, financial freedom and security, travel, healing, love, acceptance, being enough. Like it's just the words just keep coming in. Forgiveness, being forgiving, compassion, passion. <laughs> All kinds of really good stuff that's coming in abundance. Okay, guys. Let's see if there's any angel messages. I like. Yes, there is. Okay. Angels, what messages do you have for my Cancer Scorpio Pisces for the month of November 2019? Please, for all my water signs for November 2019. What other messages would you like to share with us today for November 2019 for all my Cancer Scorpio Pisces? I heard one. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Desiree. No conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. Some of you have had some kind of um, uh, somebody that has approached you and asked you to help them with a certain thing or to move into a certain department at work or some kind of change that you're not feeling real, real good about. Make sure that you're doing some praying and meditating about the situation because I'm feeling whatever this is with this movement in this place of employment or whatever is not going to be good for you. And this has something to do with somebody that's an, an executive of some sort. And it may, there may be legal things involved, something to do with legal bindings is what I'm hearing. But, um, yeah, I'm seeing a lawyer in a briefcase, so there's some kind of legal something that's going along with that. I was told to not pull any more of those, but to go back to these, but they wanted to give us another name card, so I'm kind of excited about that. Whoa, am I supposed to take both of those? Am I supposed to take this one? I heard yes with this one. It says, your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. 2323. In case this hangs up so that you guys know, I'm going to go ahead and share it. And then I'm almost out of time. Am I supposed to take this one too? Yes or no? Prosperity lies ahead. You and your loved ones are safe. Don't let pride get in your way. I didn't think I was supposed to read all these, but I was told to go ahead and read what it says on all of these. And be bold and make the first move. I feel like this has to do with a love or romantic relationship, but I was told to read your hard work is paying off and prosperity lies ahead. So let me see. Your hard work is paying off. That's this one here. New Moon and Capricorn is what that is. 60. First and foremost, this card suggests a new start for your professional profession 
for you professionally. Let's start all over. First and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your work life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time to either negotiate, renegotiate your position or look for something new. So that might have been why that negotiation card tried to come out. Um, whether your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even five years time that will inform your best course of action now so think seriously about it drawing this card suggests it is a time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve attune to the moon make a proper plan and execute it well additional meanings you need to be more disciplined to reach your goal hard work will make your dreams a reality a very good omen for study or teaching don't be too controlling and avoid anyone who is controlling this is a sign of ambition, building, and hard work. The energy is solid and rigid. The new moon in Capricorn is a powerful lunation that comes toward the end of the year and marks arguably the best moment annually to make a list of your hopes, dreams, ambitions, and intentions for the year ahead. Pulling this card at any time suggests that you, that with planning and discipline, you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. So that's a really good card. That's that one again. And then uh, Prosperity Lies Ahead, New Moon, and Taurus. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests that you have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. Good thing to hear. <laughs> um, you, can, you can create abundance. Tor Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus and this card holds a new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the new start of a relationship or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Get or give a massage, healthy body, healthy mind. Additional meanings. You will soon be able to afford the things you are dreaming of. Getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself. Start a standing order to a savings account no matter how small the teaching we often feel that it's somehow wrong to focus on our finances but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view taurus knows this and the new moon in taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so that you can have the creature comforts you want remember though that someone else is still wishing for what you already have <clears throat> okay so Anyway, the 666, you guys can look that up. Here was the other cards. I'm not going to read what they mean, but be bold and make your first move. I feel like this has to do with relationships and making that next uh, commit, uh, committed or be moving into that next committed place in a relationship with either a soulmate or a twin flame for some of you. Prosperity lies ahead. That's just another confirmation about the ladybug card. There's a lot of prosperity and abundance coming in all kinds of different forms and things like that and then you and your loved ones are safe and protected from all times types of harm as you're you're showing them your gifts or putting your gifts out into the world just know that eventually they will be inspired by the things that you're doing and ask questions and also want to be like you some of them don't let pride get in your way so just keep your ego at a check make sure you're checking your motives and all that you do whether it be healing or any gifts uh, that you have that you're using make sure that you don't let your ego get in the way or your human 3d uh ways of doing things don't cause any issues or harm to anyone else anyway i hope everybody has a great november 2019 like share subscribe and follow let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you and what you feel about it and i think that i told you guys everything um all right guys have a great day i love you bye